Hello Aries, welcome to your bonus tarot card reading for the month of July 2019. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I'm going to be doing a general tarot card reading as was requested in the poll that was sent to you guys about one and a half weeks to two weeks ago. So this is a very general tarot card reading. It's going to be covering the energies that are going to be coming into your life in the month of July 2019. Make sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. So the first tarot card that I have is indicating to me that during the month of July you're going to have a lot of opportunities to experience breakthroughs. Now this is general tarot card reading, I'm not going to be applying it to any specific area of your life, but I feel like you could be getting a lot of things done during this period of time. You know, if you have been experiencing stagnations and stalemates in certain areas of your life, you could start to see movement and progress in that regard. You could start to look at things from a different angle, start processing it in a way in which you're able to have sudden epiphanies. They could be life-changing in certain instances. You could have some realizations that never occurred to you over the last few months. And it could be something that, you know, you really need at this point of time. I see that in this situation as well, some of you could be in a position in which, you know, you are able to help other people. You know, I also feel like you're going to have a lot of help coming your way. There's going to be a lot of generosity and kindness flowing into your life. And it's going to be, you know, a month of abundance, a month of happiness. People are going to acknowledge you. You are going to acknowledge people. And that flow of love and happiness is going to be something that's really going to lift up your spirits. But you have to be careful that you're not giving too much or that people are not taking advantage of you in the same light. You have to maintain a really good balance in this particular situation. I see that for some of you, something could be on your mind. You could be creatively looking for ways to express yourself. It could be through writing. It could be through communicating. It could also be in the form of finding ideas for a certain project, okay? So for many of you, you could be passionately following something that you've been wanting to do for some time. This could be involving a wide range of things where you are actually sitting down and brainstorming about, you know, what you need to do during the month of July or really sitting down and getting things done. There's going to be a need for you to also ensure that you are well rested, okay? Now, I don't mean that this has to jeopardize your momentum. It just means that, you know, you have to take a bit of a break here and there, you know, time to recharge your batteries, time to ensure that you are well rested, Make sure that you're not burning the candle at both ends. Make sure that you pace yourself. It's one thing to work hard. It's one thing to burn out. And you don't want to be in a position where, you know, you're not carefully planning your schedule in a way in which you're not overdoing it. So in that regard, I also feel like it's going to be important for you to eat healthy as well, to maintain your energy levels, you know, take your vitamins and, you know, get a good night's rest when you need to have it. If you are dealing with decisions, etc., I feel like you need to sleep on it, okay? Because I'm using these tarot cards in a combination to one another, and if you've been feeling confused and conflicted, 
then I feel like perhaps you need to rest. Instead of feeling so conflicted or annoyed about something, you really need to give your mind a rest, allow yourself to de-stress. Maybe that even means drinking a cup of chamomile tea or you know, going out for a walk in the park or you know, just basically taking a nap. But I feel like your answer that you're looking for will come to you through that type of activity. There could be some changes that are going to happen as a result of a decision you're going to make. And these changes could come out of the blue. So be aware of that. Be aware that whatever choices or decisions you make are going to have an impact upon your life. Are you willing to live with those kind of decisions? Make sure that you do your research. Make sure that you have all the facts at hand. Okay? Now, let's see. I see that for some of you, you know, you could be looking for a better job, a better relationship or something that is going to enhance your life. And during this period of time, the month of July could be the time that you are going to be taking these steps to affect big changes in your life. So there could be this life changing shift and you could realize that you either deserve better or you want more. So make that decision very carefully. Now, I also see, again, the tarot cards are mentioning the fact that you really must avoid getting stressed out about things, okay? So that means that if you have a set schedule for the day, make sure that it is a balanced schedule and you're not overdoing it or overcompensating. So I really do feel like you have to have a balance between your work life and your personal life to ensure that you have that, you know, wonderful medium of happiness and you know, that uh, successful career, whatever you have going on for you. So the tarot cards have been very clear in terms of the messages. You know, watch this video a few times and you will pick up a lot of wisdom through it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.